Hey, what's up guys? It's Dil Vinci. Today I'm doing an Ableton tutorial on how to make a Smino Isaiah Rashad type style beat. So these type of beats are usually more soulful with some nice smooth chord progressions, some nice guitar, <clears throat> and uh, you know, some pretty funky, groovy type of drums. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so usually when I make a beat like this, I usually like to start off with like a drum loop and put it to 120. Cause I'd rather work in 120 than 60 BPM. Okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. 63. Like a folly effect, I think. I'm not too sure. But this sounds pretty cool. Now, one thing I'm actually gonna do real quick is that I'm gonna group all of these together. I'm gonna group every other drum sound in here without the kick. I'm gonna name this one with, uh, with, with, uh, perks. I'm gonna name this one percussion and I'm gonna name this kick. I'm gonna name drums. Let's just organize everything really quick. Let's see. Gonna organize all this. All right, so everything else that's not the kick we're gonna um, side chain compress, do some side chain compression on everything else that's not the kick. It's gonna be kind of crazy sounding. So let's see what this sounds like. Hey, that might be a little bit too much. Let's see. See how we speed it up a tiny bit. Okay, so this tempo should be pretty okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna pull up an electric piano. Gonna put some cool effects on it. And by cool effects, I'm just talking about RC20. <laughs> RC20. Uh, I'm gonna put this other plugin on there called Cassette, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see. Put a little bit of wobble on there. Let's see what we got right here. <laughs> around I'm just gonna record for like a minute and see if we find anything cool
so now that we got a pretty cool little chord progression going we got some nice drums going i think it's time to pull out the guitar and try to play um let's see try to play some nice chords oop i opened up two tuner not chords i mean i'm gonna play like a little like uh, I don't know, I'm gonna just play like a little like lead counter melody to these chords, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm gonna tune my guitar really quick. So it's in tune. Alright, let's see. So why I love to play on my guitar anytime I record is always guitar rig. The best guitar plugin because it has a gate built into it and you can put a lot of cool effects in the guitar to make it sound like it's running through a bunch of like pedals and like amps and whatnot. <laughs> it's sick. Alright, let's see. So one of the plugins I always or not plugins, one of the sound effects. Not nah, one of the presets I like using is this basic jazz amp. I usually turn the gate up to like negative forty. So it's like None of that like extra buzzing or whatever going on. And I usually throw on RC20 over it. And I really like the studio ambience too. It sounds always really good. So let's just try playing around with this and see what we can come up with. something kind of interesting I played in there. Let's hear it back really quick. I'm gonna just drag this out so we can listen to the whole thing. <laughs> well, I gotta turn on my ACO settings a little bit because kind of lagging a little bit. Um, so I had to restart it but basically I just pitched um, the chords and the guitar down by one and uh, it sounds like this thing.
so I guess we can just keep that guitar for now. We can always go back to it and like work on it more. But uh, I think right now I want to try and add like some more like synthy type sounds to the beat. Okay, so let's see what we got real quick. <laughs> change the preset on this guitar rig right here let's see what else we got um, it's just loading up might crash again okay let's see what this one sounds like this funky auto wild one is pretty cool too <laughs> Turn the volume up on this. Well, I'll just use a. I'm just gonna use a lunar. Okay, so I'm gonna try to record this sound over. See what that's like. <laughs> like a nice little repetitive sound i feel like that's like kind of adds like that like little like catchiness to it because right now like the chords and guitar we have right now is a little bit like all over the place so i just want to like fill it in with like more like simpler little melodies and stuff like that <laughs> on to this so I'm gonna be using the uh, scar B Rickenbacker bass from contact uh, I'm gonna be using the dub bass preset within it and yeah I'm just gonna play uh, with the melody or I'm gonna play play along the bass notes within the chord progression Let's see <laughs>
something like that right there. Could be cool. Oops, I messed up. All right, let's see what that sounds like. I'm gonna draw on a note really quick because I kind of messed up. plugin is a wage plugin uh, it's like $30 but this is a, such a cool plugin so you can really like change the pitch of the whole thing just on the melody group too so the drums aren't sound shifted <laughs> my buffer a little bit on my focus rate so it's not as clicky sounding so let me go in here and do that really quick <laughs> it's a lot on my computer so. <laughs> camera up here yet so I can't really show you guys what I'm playing up here but uh yeah I'm just gonna like basically I have like a little like sine wave type of being programmed in so I'm just gonna record that really quick on top of this see what that sounds like uh, really quick I'm just gonna put a little bit of reverb on it just to make it a little more saucier I'm gonna record
Maybe if I put like some cool effects on it, like hmm, let's see. Uh let's see what could sound good on this. What was that I'm playing again? Uh Uber okay yeah, this plugin Uber mod is kinda like a chorus doubler. <laughs> So I just want to layer this. Then there. So we're just gonna drag out some of these notes, you know, so the um. This whole thing is like pretty filling because that's the whole thing. I want to like just try to fill this in a little bit more. So we're going to fill in the chords like that. Quantize them and all. And I think I'm going to take off the sustain from the sustain pedal. Hey, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure to comment and subscribe.